plane simply vanished. Chris, let me in! Chris! Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars, welcome to another Dumpster Fire review. Now today's Dumpster Fire review is for the legendary 2014 film, uh, drama thriller I suppose, Left Behind. A film that is directed by Vic Armstrong, yes, Vic Armstrong if that name sounds familiar. He's that stunt guy from Hollywood who, you know, was involved in many of the greatest movies of the 80s, certainly the Indiana Jones films, Bond films, lots of others. Pretty much every great action film of the 80s, Vic Armstrong was a stunt coordinator. He directs this film. We have Nicolas Cage in this film, we have Leah Thompson, Cassie Thompson and Chad Michael Murray. What do we get with this film? Well, this film, as I've said, has almost garnered like legendary status for its stinkery, I suppose. Um, I've never seen anyone that's got a nice thing to say about this film. But before watching it myself, and yes, I have put myself through that torture and watched this film. Um, I'd, I'd never had that desire to watch it before. If I... If, if a film, generally speaking, is universally loathed, I tend to avoid them. Um, but for the purposes of this new uh, dumpster fire movie reviews that I'm doing, I'm actively seeking them out. So I have put myself through the torture and watched the film. And what is this film about? Well, hmm. Uh, right. This film focuses on Nicolas Cage's character, who is an airline pilot. He it is his birthday. His daughter's travelled home to see him, but he's he's more interested in buggering off uh, on a flight to London so he can frolic about with a good-looking air stewardess, because his wife's got all religious, and it's kind of divided the family a little bit. So he seeks his, you know, entertainment elsewhere. Uh, so he's a bit of a cheating toenail here, Nicholas Cage, uh, says hello to his daughter quickly at the airport, gets on a plane, shoots off, the daughter has an argument with her mother about religion, um, and then, out of nowhere, millions of people all over the world vanish, um, including quite a few people on this plane that Nicholas Cage is piloting, um, and then it is up to him and his daughter, who is left unvanished, to try and figure out what is going on, and they soon figure out that God has been a bit naughty and taken people away. And they've got to figure out why and why have they have been left behind. Right. Woo. Is this, is this film as bad as people say? Well, I've got to tell you guys, it ain't good. That's for damn sure. Um, this film is a real chore to watch. Um... It's lackluster. It feels like a really terrible TV movie. And it's just not interesting to watch. I mean, it starts off with um, this girl coming home, this daughter coming home to see her dad, Nicolas Cage. It's like an airport scene. She, re she returns home. She phones a mum, played by Leah Thompson, who's barely in the film. Um, and then she, she bumps into Chad Michael Murray's character, who supposedly is this famous journalist i suppose everyone's asking for his autograph i don't know many journalists who get their you know autographs asked about quite a lot there's i can't think of anybody you know john snow in the uk who else i don't know trevor mcdonald i don't know I, it never really clarifies what kind of journalist he is and how he's so famous but there you go he is he bumps into nicholas cage's daughter they kind of there's a bit of chemistry there they have a chit chat there's a woman interrupts and starts talking about religion randomly uh, which is clearly a theme here, guys. Um, and then she meets up with her dad. There's an awkward exchange between them because she kind of realises that her dad's a bit of a cheating toenail. Um, and then we get a sequence of really dull scenes uh, until we get that moment where everybody disappears. Um and then we are treated once again to many, many sequences and series of scenes, of dull scenes. Um, it just keeps churning on, churning on. Um, you know, you get the odd shot from Vic Armstrong of, you know, cars crashing through windows and buses falling off bridges and, 
you know, an indication that Armageddon is here because, you know, there's lots of bad people left. And the theme of this film, I think, is that God has taken people off Earth because there's a new Armageddon coming. And those who believe in him and worship him and pray to him and all that kind of thing have been taken away by God. All those that have been left behind are non-believers or bad people, pretty much, is the th certainly the theme I got from this. Now, look, I'm not here to poke fun at religion. I don't want to get that out of the day away first. I know this is a light-hearted, fun review, but I'm not here to poke fun at religion. Don't have a problem with religion. People can believe whatever they want. When I don't like it is when it is really forced in movies and things like that. Um, and it's kind of forced down your throat with a sledgehammer. And this film is exactly that. It feels like you've been dragged into church and you've been and you're being sermoned to by a priest. This film it is that unsubtle. It really is like being slapped across the face with a sledgehammer, um, being swung by a religious religious fanatic. This film it's it's crazy how how um it is it is so in your face now apparently nicholas cage took this film because uh, as a favor to his brother who is a priest um and he took a very low salary and stuff like that but it, it probably this film was i mean he has he has all he's always done bad films in his career nicholas cage he's kind of been a bit of a roller coaster but i think this film was probably the film that kind of led him down the path of the B movies for quite a few years, because this film absolutely um, nosedived his career, universally hated, and it's, it's like I said, it feels like a really bad TV movie that you'd have on a Sunday afternoon on the telly in the background that you would occasionally glance up at to see what was going on because you heard a car crashing through a window or something. It's dull. The performances are uninspired. Um, when you consider this, like, Armageddon event has taken place, and people, even though there is some mild panic here and there, it just, it doesn't portray it well enough. You know, the complete and utter confusion um, and panic that would ensue following an event like this. It just, people are just kind of sat in the seats in the plane. Even after a, after a, a five-minute bang on the captain's cabin and he comes out and basically tells them all to sit down and shut up um, you don't get much more in the way of anything on that plane, it's just a series of people and because the people who have been left behind aren't particularly fun to be around because they are non-believers or bad people you know, they're really dislikable characters for the most part really poorly written and terribly acted for the most part and you don't even get the manic Nick Cage here, you know, the over-the-top Nick Cage performance that usually wins through, even in low-budget films, it's still a joy to watch him. You get this really subdued, laid-back, unpassionate performance by Nick Cage. It doesn't feel like Nick Cage at all. Um, so what we've got here is uh, a crap version of Infinity War. You know, people just disappearing. Um, that's what I kept thinking about when it was happening. It was, but they did it in such an uninspired way. It was, it, it made me giggle. Um, and poor old Vic Armstrong. Yeah, he knows how to give us a good stunt here and there. Of course he does, but phew, he does not know how to direct. He really doesn't. So guys, I'm going to change the way I rate these dumpster reviews. Um, the higher the rating, the higher the dumpster rating, the worse the film is. And this one, unfortunately, gets nine dumpsters out of ten. It is as bad as they say. Um, it's not easy to watch and get through. Um, it's, it's one of those films to watch and say, yes, I've done it. I have finally watched Left Behind. Let me never watch it ever again. Um, so, yeah, guys, that is my second dumpster review let me know in the comments if you've seen left behind did you think it was as bad as people made out and i got of course give me lots of suggestions in the comments for more dumpster fire reviews because i'm enjoying doing them thanks for watching everybody